We are going rafting. It's been kind of a try in the last couple months, you know, with Brett and Terry passing away. Um, but they'd be rooting for us to be out here, you know, kicking ass and, and charging some rapids and working on our teamwork and stuff. And um, we're going to do it, man. We're going to have a great week. So. Oh, they pick up, they just they left the rafts. Well, we got the rafts. Seven life jackets. Uh, I mean, obviously, Well, it has like this, it looks like a turkey, it's blue red, it's like all kind of scabby. And like you can look at it, you're like, yeah, it's not a very attractive turkey. Yeah, it's like a good spot. You want to know why I'm here? Why are you here? We're here to have fun. That's why. Why should somebody come on one of these trips? Um, because we go boating and uh, we we did we have great teamwork and uh, I don't know. I why do you why do you want to come? Well, because I haven't been in a long time and I have a great time doing it. Nice. But what? Why don't you show us on this trip? Mm -hmm. Show us what's good about rafting and being out on the river. Show it. Give us your word. You promise? I promise. And this is John. He's our intern this year. Woo. And. Have you guys met everyone yet? Does everyone know everyone? I don't think everybody knows. <laughs> Dan? Yeah. Cut! I'm Mike. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I'm Todd. Jolene. Mario. Ruth. <laughs> Sue. John. Christina. Elaine. <laughs> I'm Kendall. I'm Nate. Z. Go. Hata. Hi, I'm Susie. I'm John. And I'm Dan again. Let's go around your name and do it. And I'm Ken. That soothing river sound made you what? Made me vegetate into a state of slumber, deep, deep slumber in the mountains. Filter on there, polarizer filter. Oh, nice. Filter's out the bacon grease. Doesn't like a little fresh bacon in the morning. You got smell of vision on that thing? No. Bacon. Wait, wait, get out of here! Oh! Okay, that was now that was scary. It's for we're the context in which which Val talked about it is more for family things, actually. Uh, but or for all, but also we're keeping it in mind for any. We're taking four boats. So Val's like. Well, you want to clean it, you're just supposed to use copious amounts of water. With Ken, no, they didn't talk about that. Just recent. Really? Yes. But this is what happens when you get stressed out on, on a Monday. Hemophilia attacks your immune system. Is that right? Yes. It's, it's worse than HIV. <laughs> then you bleed a lot. <laughs> but at the stands right now, we're just going to go ahead and say, if you're in the water, you wear your life jacket. I wear my life jacket, you know, and, and I love my life jacket. So um, hopefully you will too, you know. But we'll leave some down there. Maybe maybe we can put a little tarp down there. Um, small tarp and keep them down there. This yeah, pool know, really accelerates at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're at a higher <laughs> flow this, this time of year. We have more water here than we usually do at this time of year. There are better. They, yeah. There there will be calm. A lot calmer swimming opportunities on our runs. Yeah. Than this is calm. Right. Um. Dan wanted to talk about what to wear today on the river, and uh, Nate here is a perfect example of what to wear on the river today. <laughs> He has lovely shoes on. Fine <laughs> <laughs> and simple. This is ideal. <laughs> ideal what you should wear. Basically, you don't want to wear a lot of cotton today because in Montana, where it's very cold and wet, we always say cotton kills because it holds the cold near your body and stuff. And uh, you don't want to die on the river today because it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a very bad thing to do. Hey.
for trauma. But we, I know we have factor eight. Do we have factor nine here, too? Not here. Not here today. This, so we take lots of take two thousand as factor eight and stimmate for nothing, nothing for you. Okay, and you would take factor eight, right? If if something happens, so we just take five thousand or six thousand with factor eight. And People that are new, they they know uh, severe. You might want to consider uh, infusing before a, a run. Today, with the trauma dose, with on float, uh, it might be a little superfluous. Uh, but uh, starting tomorrow, not necessarily well, for the. Are there some good rapids today? Are there some good rapids? Oh, we're going through some. Yeah. Well, if you're severe, uh, you might want to infuse beforehand if you haven't already. Especially if you're a inflatable kayak, you know. Especially if there's a higher water level, which brings Ao hires Dan to be the person in charge of. It. His, that's his uh, role here at camp, if it's not obvious. <laughs> Using your I got a big head. Yeah, and I said it was kind of busted up. Yeah. It was broken in. It was broken. Well, that's a trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, once you guys got all your stuff in the water at any time. So we'll start um, being on land. Can anyone come up with any things that we might need to be concerned about in terms of safety while we're on land? Let's throw some out there. It's a good one too. Pick pockets. Pick pockets. <laughs> yeah, no rocks are rocks are a big one too, like Christina said. Um, just because they're slick and wet doesn't mean they're any softer. So um, we we'll like to say that a uh, paddle raft especially is not really a democracy in terms of the fact that if something were to go down, they could go through the rapid backwards, you know, and just make us for and people will be there to help, right? Yeah. Backwards is okay. Mm -hmm. Backwards is okay. Back some of the hardest rapids I've ever run, run backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best way to go. My choice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mario. <laughs> See the Mario. <laughs> I know. Looks like it's full on, you know, just like that. It just stretches, but just kind of. <laughs> Full, like when you get up in the morning, what kind of stress? Should I tell you? Are you doing the tiny? Now up. Uh. <laughs> <Yeah. gasps> Catch your nose. Now you gotta wiggle it off. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you keep watching the video. <laughs> no, man. The camera. No, man. It's in your hand. With or a male that has hemophilia. Okay, so the shallow. Yeah, the wind shallow. Uh -huh. All right, reposition nice. it to the left. Oh, you got it. Damn, girl, you're good. See the blood. See the blood. 
I know, I hate bruises. It is. The river's real wet. Hey, how about that river? Hey, it was great, man. It was great. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Red tabs. Oh, actually, I'll put them in my life. Trisha, how about that river? I enjoyed it. Okay. First time? <laughs> yep. We're right. happy to leave, Patricia. That's great. <laughs> I feel like Submariner, dude. <laughs> <laughs> How about that river? How about that river? Oh, the river is beautiful and all of its lovely creatures. Okay. How about that river? Oh, dude, it's awesome. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How about that river? <laughs> I think it's swell. <laughs> Okay, go in. <laughs> or why would you go camp? Or, uh, <laughs> why you want to have to thank you. Go to have a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, guides first. Do fun things. Today. Fun people. Guides first. And guides have a good time. Hey, Joe. <laughs> 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 So I don't know what really more there is to do than say thanks and um, remember our friends that aren't here and give thanks to the friends that are here and give thanks to the river that provides our experience here and the fish that we're eating. Uh, a good friend of mine is uh, stepfather is a Yurok elder and. The word that he says to give thanks in the native tongue in this land is Puistja. That means give thanks, give respect. Uh, it can mean whatever you want it to mean. It's not definable. It's not in the dictionary. It just means Puistja, give thanks. Um, so, you know, this fish here means a lot to me. I'm sure it means a lot to you all. Um, and it was a gift to me and to you from the river. First services soon picked up the story and passed it on, making Bigfoot a national household here in the Klamath County. Bigfoot has raised its hairy head more now and then all along the Trinity, especially in more remote areas. Willow Creek alone the belief that they have is that he can take the form of Bigfoot but also take the form of the land. So sometimes. In my life, I get really wrapped up and kind of stressed sometimes, and just kind of talking with these guys and Sue, they, it was really a neat conversation we had, and it just kind of taught me to, to slow down, and for me, the log is kind of like symbolic for that, you know. <laughs> the simple tab, the log just goes round and round, and, and <laughs> there's never too many things going on, so many things going on, you can't actually slow down and just do one thing, like stand here in a circle, and, uh, you know, look around, you know, and smell, and, and listen, and stuff. And so for me, that log is just kind of... I hope it stays in the That's area the rest of the week. Well, it's a good thing Z and I weren't successful pushing it out in the current <laughs> <here today. laughs> <laughs> Well, then it would be moving downstream. Yeah.
And you sometimes, meant to be. Sometimes you need that too. You know? I know. You know? Sometimes, sometimes you know, when you're lagging, you gotta, yeah. you gotta jump into the third yeah. gear and pick it up. Go for it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like you. 